Hi, this is Rashid from uh, Colorado Chip Design. So first of all, thank you so much uh, to all those who subscribe to my channel and uh, also to those who are watching uh, different videos that I am publishing. My plan is to publish one video every day. And uh, yeah, I would love to put my face on these videos uh, because that creates um, a good connection. But uh, problem is for that, I have to uh, do a video of myself and then a screen share and then I have to do a video editing by combining the two and that creates a lot of work for me which I don't have time so I thought okay let's focus on screen share let's focus on the content and then every week I can do a one video just myself talking and giving a recap of the week uh, so hopefully that that will mix up things pretty well but anyway keep your feedback coming through LinkedIn or through comments on YouTube but LinkedIn is better and sometimes I, I miss some of the comments that, uh, on, on YouTube videos. Anyway, we started with an important topic that was multiplier. Um, and we are looking into array multiplier. We looked at, at the, the core concept last time. And today I will look into how we can implement it in, in logic gates uh, as well as in half adder or full adder which are also combination of logic gates okay so looking at this one i re um i drew this um with with a clean picture so if there are two different steps so first step is generating partial products so i know that multiplier can be tricky so bear with me and um, after you watch this video uh, use the same number and practice it yourself do it yourself and see you understand or not uh, again the concept is pretty simple but uh, it, it can be confusing sometimes so look at that so first step is just partial products generation same like decimal multiplication so the first one is here and you have seen it last time I mentioned that partial product the multiplication between two boundary bits is simply an AND gate an AND gate operation so one it becomes it just basically brings the whole um, first number which is a or multiplicand here zero bring makes everything zero one brings uh, brings the whole number down and every time we shift it one bit to the left side because the the num the bit that we're multiplying this with has its own weight um, this has a uh, weight of one this has a weight of two this weight of four this weight of eight so every time uh, bits keeps moving with respect to the weight of it that's what we we finish so first one is partial product this the second this so there are four num four bits in each number so there will be four partial products next stage actually before next stage um, what is the hardware implementation of that as I mentioned it's an AND gate so this one is giving you the very first one 0 1 1 and 1 and how did I get that so this is first number 1 1 1 0 this is second number 1 1 0 1 so the partial product 1 is this one how we get it we multiply 1 with 0 1 1 1 and how do we that so this b0 bit of b bit 0 which is this one goes to this and gate and first and the second input to this and gate is at this number now for this and gate again since we are multiplying this with this one so we bring it here the same bit to this and gate and the second bit is bit 1 of a now we third one is we want to multiply one with this one so we bring it here and we bring it here the fourth one is we multiplying this one with this one so we bring it here and then we break this to the end gate and the result of zero one is zero one zero sorry one one is one 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 is one 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 is one now when we go to partial product two again these are end gates but this time we will multiply a bit one of b with each bit of a so now the 
like in this case we had which is coming from here in this case we will have the first one coming from here the second bit is this will be the first this will be the second this will be the third this will be the fourth hope you understood that and similarly you can you can repeat it uh, for the next one so in this one you will bring this one here there goes here and then the same ones will come here For fourth, let's pick a different color, let's pick orange. This comes here, okay, the same one. So that's how you generate partial product four. So that's the first step. But if you look at now, after we have these partial products, what we do is, since our full adders take two bits, basically three bit, um, carry in and A and B. So as a result, we get sum and carry output. So we can add three bits together. If there are two bits only, we will use half adder because it's C and it's zero. Fewer gates are used in this one. So if we have a situation like this, we can still use a full letter here, but we can have a carry out from this addition. So it becomes four bits, so we can't use it. So the best strategy is kind of divide it. But first add these two partial products. What the sum you get, then you add sum to the partial product three. Once you get that, then you add it the last one. So we have four partial products, four bit numbers each, and then we will need a three stages of addition right so let's look into this the second case now we will start adding things all right i just brought the same picture here and let's start making some drawing on it i'm not going to draw partial products and gates here because they will make the picture very confusing so when I put 0, 1, 1, 0, just assume there were N gates with a similar structure that I had here. But I'm skipping that, assuming it's there. So let's start adding um, adders to this one. So yeah, these multipliers are not easy to explain either. But uh, yeah, so very first one, so this will come down without any addition. Then we go to the next one. So we have this, these two numbers. This one comes as is, sorry. This one comes as is. So carry out, carry in into this stage will always be zero. Um, let's do this. So from this, carry out is zero. So that means we can to add these two we, we need a half adder, not a full adder. We just need these two bits. So let's put that. Which color is good? Let's do this. This is a half adder. The inputs of half adder is first this input and this input. Some will come down here will not be added sorry to anything and carry out will go to the next stage then we, when we come to the next stage since this carry output can be zero or one that means this can be zero or one so we have to use a b and carry in so means we have to use full letter adder this goes in this input one input output is sum and then it's carry and this is full adder another full adder 
and similarly this will can be zero or one this thing so means we need a full error it has a sum and carry so here we can also oops from here we can also have zero or one but here we have only one bit so we can use again half header here and c in will be zero so what we take is bring it as a and this will be two and this will generate carry output sum okay is that clear all right so let's now go to the second stage this comes as is now this let's pick a different color um, this one that comes here that sums coming here this sum is coming here so this needs to be added to this one this need to be added to this one this sum need to be added to this one but there was a carry out of this one too that's something we need to be aware so let's let's draw this it will be much clearer let's pick red so it can have um we can use a half adder because we need this and this there's no carry in from previous stage carry out goes to next stage this is full adder comes here and second is this input there's a carry output this one comes here and this bit comes here this is a full adder then there's a sum here okay then this is a carry output okay so what happens in this case this comes here and you have carry input coming here and this coming here again you need a full adder and this goes here let's let's actually keep calculating uh, I should not have used red but that's okay I don't know if you can see this but okay um, zero comes zero here this will not be clear let's use this blue can pick a different color oh pink is good so I'm, I'm just making sure that we number calculating so this gets a zero this one goes a zero one zero is zero okay carry out is zero so carry out is zero one zero this is zero carry out is zero then zero one zero one zero will be zero and carry out put zero then one zero 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 okay zero goes here zero goes here that means you have zero here and zero here the next one we get zero zero and so we get zero so what is this why i said zero it's one so we have again let's check zero one zero one zero one zero why i was putting one okay I don't know why I was putting zero there. You probably already got it, but I was not paying attention. One zero zero zero. That is correct. So that means now when this get one, this get one zero one, 
okay and uh, we have to add now the next stage what color let's put blue here so we have this coming here and then we have one coming here this is half header there's no carry and zero all right so next one we have a carry in coming we have this thing coming and this coming this one is you have carry out here you have this sum coming and this one coming then you have carry input you have carry coming here this coming here and you have carry out here let's check the numbers bring up pink so um on this one let's put this became one so i brought one here so zero one zero is zero i will draw this this zero this is zero this is one this is one so the, which means zero and there is one carry this one zero one mean again sum is zero there's one carry this one zero and one mean this sum zero there's one carry now here this is zero this is zero this is zero so this is zero and this is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero this is the full ladder so output is one because see this is zero this is zero this is one so output is one get out is zero this is zero this is zero this is one so this is a full letter sum will be one and carry out is zero so this is zero this is one this is one one and one are zero and carry out is one so we have this number one zero one one zero one one zero let's check it compare it with our oh we never let's solve this one here zero one one zero one 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 this is one 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 zero one let's bring this guy copy all right looks like we did a good job um and uh, this whole circuit that we created matches to a quick uh, simple what i did now uh, keep in mind when I put one, um, one, 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 answer is one, one, like 11. It's not 11, it's one, one. So then one here and one carry. One, one, zero and carry out is one. The other thing you notice is that input is four bit, one number, the other number is four bit. The answer will is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bit. So it's always the case. So if there's a N is the N bit numbers each, then your answer is in two n bits so you have seen that multiplier has needs a lot of combinational circuits and you know how what kind of exclusive r and n gates are inside each of these so all this data has to travel travel run on all this so that's why they take and we will talk about delays in when we go into cmos uh section but yeah Hopefully you understood it. If I made any mistake, if I confuse you for anything, please let me know so I can, I can try to explain in a better way. Um, if I don't hear any comments, the next video will be about the serial multiplier and we will look into why we need to have serial multiplier. Take care of yourselves. Thanks so much for your time watching this.